Still get tips weekly on the Cook case. New tips and now new sketches showing two persons of interest in the Rachel Cook case. These were just released this afternoon. Investigators say these two men were spotted in the area where Cook was last seen near her Georgetown home January 10th, 2002. She disappeared during a morning jog. There is a $100,000 reward for information that helps find her. Friends, family and the community gathered on this, the 18th anniversary of her disappearance. KV's Molly Oak spoke to her mom, who is holding out hope that she'll one day learn what happened. While the wind blew through Williamson County, the only thing Rachel's mother, Janet Cook, was blown away by was the amount of people who showed up. Awesome, awesome. These people, you know, with the weather the way it was going and everything, I can't believe everybody, you know, that many people showed up. It's, it's really, and it helps me so much. I mean, the friends, the sheriff's department. Dozens of people stood near the tree planted to remember Rachel. She was just a light that shone so brightly. 18 years after her death, the tree lives in Williamson County as a remembrance to her, a place where people like her mother come to find peace. She was good. She was good people. Very loving, very caring. And for somebody to take that from this community, it's not right. It's not right. And at this point, I just want closure. Nothing's going to take and bring back all the years, the 18 years that I've been without her. Rachel was last seen when she was 19 years old. You know, she was so, absolutely so alive. Greg West, her boyfriend at the time, saying it's beautiful people still come to visit the tree and think of Rachel even after all this time. We are now visiting this tree almost as long as she's been alive. So put that in perspective, it's, it's unfathomable, you know, it really is. It's moments like this that help her family keep hope alive that one day they'll have answers. Molly Oak, KVU News.